last time on 999. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. You don't believe me, do you? Care to give me a try? I must warn you, you'll no doubt regret it. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute! You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, guess so. Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? Oh, yeah. I guess that's true. Junpei paused for a moment and stared at Seven. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. If you've really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? Well, sure. I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Deck. That was a while ago. I had some time to get used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. After all, why well, worry about something I can't change? Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. I figure it'll work itself out eventually. That's... that's it? That's it. Alright, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. Seven gave Junpei a look the younger man wasn't sure how to interpret and turned to walk away. Somehow, though, Junpei didn't find his reassurances very reassuring. Alright, back to exploring the ship. A music stand. Seems as good a place as any to put this music we found. Just gotta put the ceramic plate on the bottom, and stack the glass plates on top of it. Alright, good. Sweet. Now I can play the music. Jinpei, would you be so kind as to play the piano? I am unable to, you see. I'm sure I needn't tell you, but... The keys on this piano are not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. You must listen carefully to determine which key to strike. Do you understand? Yeah. Alright, let's give this a shot. I've never played a piano before, but I've played a keytar, and I figure that's close enough, so let's check these buttons out. Everything's sounding right so far. Okay. Alright, that sounds nice. Okay. It's just this one. I think it's this. Okay. There's another one down. And that should be it. And we're done. Music is not my forte. Wait, what was that noise? Junpei, we did it. Looks like it worked. I heard something unlock over by the exit. Let's go. Good plan. Stand, bow, be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake thinks it's funny. <laughs> yes. I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine that's what Zero was thinking of, however. No, no. Zero almost certainly meant to suggest Westminster, not middle school. Westminster? The palace in London that plays host these days to the Houses of Parliament. You've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? Big Ben plays the very collection of notes on the hour. Look. Capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately. Well, back to exploring again. This door goes to the living room. I don't have any reason to go out there. Safe. It's a safe. A safe, huh? The exit's open. 
Yes. Strange that we didn't need to open this to achieve our goal. Do you think it's important? I wonder what's in there. Hmm. Okay, I think I've seen enough pink in this room to last a lifetime. Alright. Let's go! He came out of the door and into a long, straight hallway. He paused for a moment and turned around to look behind him. Seven was bent over, apparently doing something to the door. What's he up to? Junpei had spoken more or less to himself, but apparently Seven had heard anyway. The larger man stood up and turned to Junpei. I was just putting one of those plates in there. It ought to keep the door from locking again. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? Uh, why would you want to come back here? Snake was a reasonable one. Seven thought about it for a moment before he answered. I'm, uh, I'd like to play a little piano. Piano? Come on, let's get moving. We aren't out of this yet. Without waiting for an answer, Seven started off down the hallway. Snake shrugged, <sighs> sighed, and quietly followed Seven. That's a lie, Junpei thought to himself. He had difficulty enough believing Seven could play the piano. But even if he could, the piano they'd just left was largely useless. The keyboard completely scrambled. If Seven wanted to come back, it was unlikely he intended to do so in order to play the piano. But if that was the case, why would he want to leave the door unlocked? Junpei frowned, took one last look at the door, and then walked away toward his companions. After some time in the hallway, they emerge into a larger, more open area. A large metal grate, like the door of a jail, divided it in half. They shook it for a while, but as they had expected, it did not move. Behind the grate were two elevators. From so far away, however, it was difficult to tell if they were still operating. On the left side of the grate was a door. Unfortunately, however, it was locked and refused to open. Junpei took a moment to examine the left side of the room. Next to the wall was a set of stairs leading downward. Standing guard at the top of the stairway was a large iron gate. Foreboding as it was, the gate seemed to be the sort that could be opened, unlike the metal grate that bisected the room. With luck, Junpei hoped he might be able to get it open. The female symbol! He wasn't quite sure what to make of it. Snake, naturally, was somewhat more sure. Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you recall the similar symbol near the large central stairway? They reference many of the solar bodies. So, as you can see, that one is likely not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. So, I assume. While they had been discussing the symbol, Junpei now realized Seven had slipped away. His absence now felt, Snake and Junpei turned to look for their companion. There. Seven had left them to head down the hallway extending to the right of the stairs. Junpei grabbed Snake to lead him in the right direction and they both headed off after Seven. Before long, the three of them stood in front of a door. It was a French door. Junpei tested the door and realized that unlike so many others that they'd encountered, it was unlocked. Almost as though he was afraid it would suddenly lock itself, Junpei threw the door open. He stepped inside. It took only a moment for Junpei to take in his new surroundings. Is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Before Junpei could comment further, a noise from behind made him turn around. Snake was shaking the door they'd just come through. As Seven and Junpei watched, he threw up his hands in frustration and then kicked the door for good measure. 
it looked as though they were once again locked in. There was no reason to panic, however. Even if the door had been left open, there was nowhere for them to go back there. They would have to find another way out. All right, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling, let's go, quickly now! Spurred to action by Seven's words, Junpei and Snake began to examine the room. Gambling metaphor! <laughs> okay, new environment, same process. There's something on the counter. Looks like a card. A playing card. Hey, Junpei, I found this one on the shelf. Hmm? A playing card? Oh, so that's two of them now. It's a chair. Yep, totally a chair. It feels like a chair. Nothing more, nothing less. Good teamwork, guys. A square poker table. But there's nothing on it. Check that chair again, damn. A third playing card. And that makes four. Check out that stained glass. How beautiful. What? Huh? Stained glass is colored pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. I can at least discern the basic structure. That square table looks like a mahjong table. Do you play mahjong seven? Uh, maybe. I don't remember exactly, but... I do remember a couple of hands and some of the rules, so I figure I must have played it at some point. Excellent! Once we vacated this vessel, I should like to play with you. Can you... Uh, play? So long as you tell me which tiles I am eliminating, yes, I believe I have at least enough skill to defeat an amateur. However, I must ask you to remove the red tiles when we play. Ooh, slot machines! says one on the plate. So I've got the symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here. Let's check out. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Let's check this back wall. Playing card and a nine. Hmm. wonder how I can use that. Let's check this table again. Suddenly, Seven began to speak. Ah, uh, back around. You ever played Junpei? Junpei shook his head. He'd barely even heard of the game. Alright then, how about I explain the rules to you a bit? See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You got the banker and the player, and the whole point is you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games too. See, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the values of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. And that's it. That's the explanation. Got it? Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. A single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a 9, and the weakest hand is a 0. You just ignore the number in the 10th spot. Do you get it? He hadn't been asked for it, but Seven's explanation, rushed though it had been, was helpful. Although he had only half understood most of it, Junpei felt as though he had some grasp of how victories won in Baccarat. However, Junpei had no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table in front of them made use of those rules, and if it did, in what way. No problem, he told himself. He would simply have to try everything he could think of. Feeling more confident, if only slightly, Junpei approached the Baccarat table. Hey Seven, are we really supposed to play Baccarat? 
It's a baccarat table. What the hell else would we do? Ah, uh, stop worrying about it. It's real simple. What's the opponent's hand? Well, there's an eight in that glass case. All right, then that's your opponent's number. If that's the case, what three cards do we need to get that number? Three cards? There are a couple of indentations with white lines around them, right? That means we gotta put down three cards, so... Place three cards here and defeat the opponent's eight. That's what I've gotta do, I guess. Hm. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Something tells me those aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give it a shot. Before I start, I'd better make sure I've got the rules straight. There are three empty indentations. I just gotta pick a card and play it. I figure if I put them in the right spots, something ought to happen. Alright, let's give this a try. Okay... I need to beat the eight? Or equal the eight? Oh... I can barely handle digital roots. This is gonna be a problem. I suppose it's appropriate, though. Let's try... these cards. No, no, that's not right. This card? No, that's wrong also. I must not have the right cards. I better check the rest of the room. Damn it! This isn't exactly working out the way I expected. It's locked, isn't it? Is there a keyhole? If there is, I can't find it. Well, there must be some way to unlock it. Let's look around a little more, shall we? The slot machine has a pretty old-fashioned design. Looks well-maintained and probably still works. Well, usually the way these things work is that if the reels match, a whole bunch of coins come out. Exchanging those coins for prizes is the best part, though. A prize, eh? I wonder what might happen if we were to match all the reels. I imagine the prize would be the tool that would lead to our escape. Well, I've got the symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here, but I feel like I've already said that. There's firewood in the fireplace. Hmm? I didn't think I'd find a card here. There's a weird-looking thing floating in there. Wait, when those two lights turned on, I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. What was that? I heard something down there. Alright, let's drop this coin in the coin slot. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. Seven, seven, seven! Yes! Triple sevens! And I think I hear something in there. Impressive, Junpei. Damn straight. It would appear to be unlocked now. There is something akin to a drawer in the bottom part of this machine, yes? That is a pickup drawer for dividend. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Please open it if you would. What is it? Is there something in there? Yeah, a playing card. And this. A key with the Venus symbol on it! Excellent, Junpei! Now we will be able to open the gate. Then we just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Correct. Come on, Junpei! Hurry up! And he's off. There was a playing card and a Venus key. Better put the key in my pocket for later. As for the card, I think I know what to do with it. It's the drawer they use to pick up money, but it's locked, I guess. Back to the Baccarat table. Before I start, I'd better make sure I've got everything. Hmm, I think I've got it. Or at least, I hope I have it. Okay, let's try this again. That's four, three, and two. All right, if I just put down these three cards... Yes! Open for me! That's great! You did it, Junpei! You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. All right, let's take this card. Okay, I think I know what to do with this card.
Here's the card slot. Looks like we need to put a playing card in here. All right, let's give it a shot. Hmm. I guess I just have to put the one I got. And in you go. Hey, all right, it opened up. It seems we have another device to contend with, yes? There are three slots in this one. Let's see. Three slots for cards. There's a nine right below them. So that means we gotta make nine with the three cards we put in the slots, right? Just like we did over at that back around table. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, I think I'm getting the hang of this. And considering we only have three cards, I mean... It'd be pretty bad if I got this wrong. But I suppose... This card... This card... This card. Alright, so I put all the cards we had left into the slots. What happens now? Is that... Yes! I did hear something from the exit! Excellent work, Junpei! Wonderful! It seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go! Alright, let's go! Next time on 999. Just what I thought. D Deck is completely underwater. Hey, what? What is this place? If the red isn't working, we can't keep going. Project.